Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Something I swore up and down I never would. Got a spool of flux core wire here. So I thought I'd load up the Everlast MTS-275 Lightning with it and try out a little flux core welding. I don't know why I don't like this stuff, but it just seems messy. And just feed it in there a little bit. And don't forget, you know, if you're going to run flux core, you have to come in and change this cable from the positive terminal over to the negative terminal. That will make the polarity correct to make the flux core run correctly. And before you even try to feed the wire through, always take off the nozzle, get the tip out of the way. And then once you're ready, you can just pull the trigger, at least on this machine, it does not have a auto feed you know, or you know, a wire jog button. So you can just pull the trigger, it will feed. You could turn the wire feed up to make it feed faster, but it comes out pretty quick. So let me put this together. And you can, if you're running flux core, you can just leave the nozzle off because you don't have any gas. No reason to have the nozzle on there to direct the gas if you're not using any. This makes the end of the gun a little bit smaller, makes it a little easier to get down into tight places. So for now, we'll just leave this guy off. So of course, because I haven't used this machine with flux core, we're gonna have to go through all the setup. So let's page down, or let's toggle down here to flux cord, flux core, no gas. And then we just have to run through the setup here real quick. So wire feed, um, I'm just guessing here. Now we'll call it 150. 2T, so that's just on the, on the trigger. Inductance, that's the inductance, you know, the, high, the highest inductance is 100%. So let's make that 50%. Post flow, we don't need any. Wire feed at the end, we'll leave at 60 no down slope spot timer is on so let's get rid of that burn back we'll leave at zero for now up slope zero starting wire feed at 60 pre-flow well no for flux core we don't need any of that either and the volts let's try it at 19 volts and we'll see what we get from there i'll get a piece of scrap we'll run a few lines we'll see how it works Turn that wire feed up just a little. No slag to speak of. So that's where I started just as a test, just to get it working. And then that was at about 190 on the wire speed. This was at uh, 225 on the wire speed. Eh, you know, it looks okay. It's not perfect, but it looks okay. At least enough that you can get some work done with it. Let me try welding two pieces together, see what we get. Now let's just get a little tacky there. A little tacky there. And run one across. Too bad. Keep in mind, guys, this is the first time I've used flux core with this machine. This is the first time I've used flux core in, oh, three or four years. <laughs> so, you know, I very rarely ever use this stuff. I don't particularly care for it, but well, we'll at least get the job done. You know, it, it laid down pretty nice in there. Could probably put some more wire feed on it. 
no no penetration it didn't want to come through at all so, so i could probably turn the voltage up a little bit to go with the extra wire feed and see if i can't burn it down in there a little better see you really can't teach old dogs new tricks i'm gonna go get myself a treat and get back to begging so while i'm doing that if you like this video please give me a like and i'll see you all next time And let's see what we got. Hey, turn that over. It works better.